Welcome back to an all signs today. Aries through Pisces, but we are doing elemental cookies only. Just quick messages, no clarifiers. So we also want to know if you had to pick Kit Kat or Snickers. So let us know in comments. Now, Aries, you got the overall energy of the star. This looks like you're trying to hold on to faith, hold on to the thought that somebody might treat you better yet. It's like still wanting, yearning somebody, still wanting and still having that faith that this connection, this person would come back and be more stable, that they'd choose to come back on their own without, you know, having to go after them. It does seem like they had made you an option. So let's just see what we get. Overall energy of hope, though. So if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius source, ooh, very generous there with her tatas. Woohoo! Okay, this is somebody that wants to pay attention, that you really wants to pay attention to you. They want things to be balanced. They want to be very generous. Now, this is getting attention and success. So this could be new dating. It's wanting to get to know you. This is somebody that takes time to actually listen to what you're saying and pays attention. So this can be somebody that initially starts out as friends, but this is somebody that pays a lot of attention to detail. Very, very generous. Texting, messaging, very practical, down-to-earth type of person. Hmm. Oh, pretty woman. Pretty woman. Walking down the street. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you were dealing Girl. with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that help you. I want to be Richard Gere, damn it. Mm. He wants to be Richard Gere. Well, then act like Richard Gere and get some more money. This person has hope and faith that the two of you can get back together. They are thinking about coming in to talk to you very much. They can be at a physical distance. There have been some confusion. They're, they're no longer confused. I'm sorry, I still feel like we can work this out. They're very optimistic that the two of you should be together and that they would be happier if they were with you. So what do you think of them? What do you think of them? Fool. Well, one more. Oh, there's the optimism. So you would be willing to, you would. Now this also can be very new. This can be taking an opportunity to get to know you and wanting happiness. You're ready for new dating. This is, you know, with your energy here, this is, seems a little bit on the newer side. It could be either or, so take it how it resonates. It's gonna be different for everybody, obviously. Very nice energy though. It can be an Aries or an Aquarius. Heavy, because we're already in the air. But we're in the air. This person considers you to be a catch, so it sure the hell looks nice. We're going to put these two back in the deck. Ignore the washer. The Wookiee decided to do some wash. This is very oh, nice. You got two you. singles. Fibber. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Well, that's not very good. I told you to bring the dirty laundry down. You got the double. Okay, this person's got a lot of lust for you. They can be a little bit obsessed. Let's get two more, Source. Can just be a Capricorn. They're optimistic, though. Mm, see how you view them. Okay, it's a return. You have the Knight of Swords. You think that they were a bit impulsive to leave in the first place and that they shouldn't have done so. So it's like, are you still confused? You're wondering if they're still all up in their head and not seeing reality, but hoping at the same time that they, you know, are you coming back? You want them to come back? It sure looks like you do, but you know, why they leave in the first place? They're more optimistic now. I don't know, one more for that devil. Why the devil? Because he's sexy. Because he's sexy. Well, it came out kind of sideways, so sexy or not, this is somebody that wasn't 100% sure, a little bit immature, not saying that they were screwing around. It just means that they were being selfish. Not sure that they were going to completely, you know, break down and say committed. A little bit cold-footed on that, but, you know, it's like, have you made up your mind? Are you going to settle? Are you going to stop leaving? You know, this person can be impulsive at times. That means a little bit unreliable. So be careful with that one. That does look like a reconciliation. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you got the world. Let's see which direction this person's heading. 
Kermit taking a time out from the world, deciding what direction they want to go in. To be a Virgo, this is somebody that is trying to be smart and wise. There's no passion in this. This is all about what direction do I want to take? Strength. There is passion. Now, I feel like they're holding back, getting ready to come your direction. How does Aries view this person? You're not over them. So it is somebody that you had a connection with. They're putting a lot of thought into what to do. You know, trying to learn. That's a learning card. So it's like there's been a time out between you and this person. And I say that because you got the Four of Swords reversed. This is like you going, okay, this is enough. Come clean with what you want to do here or just drop this. Are we starting over? Is this going anywhere? You don't feel like things are resolved between the two of you. You want them to, you know, they could have... They could have been busted, but I'm feeling more like this is you saying, come clean already and tell me what the hell you want. I'm getting restless and sick of waiting. This is a card of waiting as well. And that's the washer squeaking. Oy vey, I'm telling you. This person does want to move things forward, but I feel like the communication just isn't there yet. This is saying that they are coming in to initiate communication, make up sex. There needs to be some healing in this connection. It can be a Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. But this is somebody that knows that the communication it needs to be better. Seven of Swords reversed. They need to come clean, but this does stand a chance at a reconciliation as well. They're put, I mean, that's a very serious card with the overall energy of the world. It seems like yes, but the old connection has to die to make the new one better, okay? They still have emotional ties to you. They do still care about you. Don't you love this card? I mean, seriously, <laughs> some of these decks that I get, and I love it. It's fun. We like fun here. Generosity equality yeah she's definitely got that going on she's equal on both sides I, uh huh and very generous all right we're gonna get a but you guys have the overall energy of the star so if, you know looking better than did yesterday you had the damn devil all right let's get an answer answer for the question most on aries mind source okay this one's coming out get more information and remain positive okay Let's see what the Wookiee has for you. Positive thoughts create positive shit in your life. Star optimism. Mm -hmm. Happy thoughts. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Uh, and first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Pay attention to how you're feeling, especially with this freaking retrograde. All right. Oh, Wookie. On we go. Okay, Taurus, is Elemental Quickies only today? So we want to know, question of the day, just for fun. We're not going to always do this, but Kit Kat or Snickers? All right, you have the overall energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you look like you're working on some healing here, guarding your heart from somebody that you care about very deeply. It's like you could have learned a lesson or you might be teaching somebody a lesson. All right, there's a lot of stagnancy going on, which is probably smart with retrograde. So let's see what we get. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, incoming Hushwaki. Oh, this person wants to pay attention to you. They want to move things forward. They want to date. Woo! Heavy on the Leo and Cancer. This person's coming in. They have narrowed their any options down to you. They really want to be acknowledged by you. So it's like they're going to be in your face. This is somebody that really wants to spend time with you. They want to see where this can go with the fool. It's taking a chance, jumping in. They're very determined. It looks nice. Very new energy, new dating Cut of the deck, you got the Nine of Cups. I think that you would feel good about it. Something that could make you feel happy. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. You are dealing with an air sign. Strength. Also can be a Leo. So this is somebody that's very curious to get to know you. They sexually want to have a piece of your ass, but they actually do want to have success with you as well. This is somebody that wants and likes stability, so they want to save that. You know, they want to start from the ground level up, so they're very logical about dating. 
but very curious. So it's like, are you interested in me? The only reason that they would hold back is to see if you are actually interested. This is somebody that's making small offers or small, you know, flirty flirties just to, you know, are you taking the bait, basically? I'd say you are interested. Two of Cups, dating, seeing where it can go. This can lead to passionate emotional ties, but there is, you know, a smart portion of this person holding back a little bit to make sure that you're interested. So very eager. Eager. Very nice so far, guys. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Cups. I have a little fish in a cup for you. He's got a tattoo of a fish on the back of his melon, actually. It looks pretty cool. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Okay. Stay put. All right. So this is somebody that does see the two of you really going somewhere. You got to check out that tattoo. That is really cool. I want to message you very positive ideas on appreciating you. Feeling that you're, ex they want to have a lot. They want to have everything. Okay, it's like somebody that is choosing you, respecting you. So it starts with small messaging, and then you know, really respecting you. So somebody, you know, I hate to say worships to the ground you're walking on, but they're coming at you. This also fell out. Reliable can be slow as hell, but very very reliable. The Empress, there can be a difference in age here between you and this person, but. This is abundance, fulfillment, using your instincts and um, new dating that could lead to that soulmate feeling can be a Gemini. This looks very nice as well. Wow, guys. Ha, ah, three out of four so far. Hey, hey, hey. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Source. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You are dealing with an Earth sign. I don't want to split right here. Hello, oh, devil. Well, hello, devil. This person's got the hots for you. Very sexual, very selfish, but <laughs> there is some hope here. Let's see what you think of them. I mean, this is like so tempted to come in and just rip your clothes right off your body. They're thinking about you. They're daydreaming and doing naughty things. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. This can be meeting somebody out. Can be just a Capricorn, Aquarius. Let's see what you think of this person. The world. Ooh. New, reversed. New. Okay, so you guys have a lot of fresh energy in here. It's like a la carte. Any of these can actually take what absolutely resonates. This is beautiful energy of saying someone that's got a lot of passion towards you and a lot of faith is thinking about you a lot, doing naughty things, but they're very interested in bringing you an offer of dating. The world can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, but there is a, this feeling of let's, let's start a new chapter. Let's see where this can go between the two of us. With the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, I do feel like you would be interested. It also can mean that you're in groups of people when you meet this person. There's a lot of hope and faith that you'll take their offer. It's very nice. Wow. So heavy on the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This can just be a Capricorn. When we are showing whether we're interested or not, we're all selfish. It's pretty typical. I don't think there's any harm in here. Gemini, Libra, Taurus. Just naming off the stronger ones. Leo, Cancer, and Aries in here. You guys, wow, I don't think anybody's going to beat that today. No. All right, let's get an answer for the question most on your mind. What do they need to hear? Opportunity is knocking. Holy shit, and don't stop. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo. Let's see what your Wookiee's got for you guys today. A new fucking opportunity is coming. I'd say so. New moon in Libra. No, you are loved. Ooh, incoming. Good stuff, Taurus. All right, on we go. All right, Gemini's elemental quickies today only. Question of the day, not that we're doing this all the time, is Snickers or Kit Kat? 
You guys have the overall energy of temperance. With the cut of the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. I feel like some of you are waiting for a reconciliation with somebody that you really deeply care about. This is in change that's needed to happen, but it does look like there can be a reconciliation. It's like, just got to be a little bit more patient is what it's feeling like. So let's see what we get with Elemental Cookies. Also heavy on that Sagittarius. All right, Source, if they are dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, fire signs. Gemini is dealing with a fire sign. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Well, now. This is somebody that's got the hots for you. They want to see where this can go. They're hoping that you look at them the same way that you look at... This is basically two people that really got the hots for each other. Really intense. Really intense. Intimacy is great. Very optimistic that this would pay off. They feel like you're a sure thing. Excited as hell. One more. They want to move this forward. They're look, you know, they're a lot more into the screwing part than they are into the emotional part, because they're trying to, you know, kind of maintain a dis. Why the six of swords ruin my great story? Ten of wands. They're afraid of putting more work into it. Be careful. This person can just be an attention whore. Just saying. I do think they have the potential to go somewhere, but this is not someone you'd want to push they also can feel like they're not good enough for you so they don't put enough uh, work into anybody because they just feel like you know that's all they're good at is screwing and sex but this is somebody that really is very interested and it can happen real quick so maybe slow their roll a little bit and that actually could go somewhere you might end up with this in betweeny are we you know dating or not dating type feeling with this person so you know just Kid gloves, I guess. It does look like it actually could go somewhere. Also could meet this person in a group. Source, what will Gemini think of this person? Well, you're going to want to stick around. You want this person to stick around. You want them to stick around. But it does seem like there's going to be a break in the connection. And then, re you know, it does look like it comes back together. So, kind of odd. Odd. Very odd. Very odd energy. It does seem like fucking retrograde. This person's got a lot of a lot to offer and they do want dating, but it's gonna have to go slow. It does feel like you're gonna have kind of like up and down, up and down energy with this person. This is not wanting it's like you don't and don't sugarcoat and don't kiss this person's ass. Uh uh. Because this is somebody that's like don't put that well you know I'll do anything to keep you type energy towards this person you are so much better than that shit but it does look like an up and very sexual you're very interested all right Gemini Libra Aquarius Libra. Gemini Libra Aquarius source air signs okay this could be a secret crush Ooh. also can be a Pisces this person has a lot of respect towards you, and let me tell you what, this would make a very good couple between the two of you. This is somebody that does want to put work into the connection. They also might not be sure what the hell you're thinking. It's kind of almost like that, where it's like, am I good enough? A lot of respect, but it's like, is this enough for you? Do I have enough to offer? Do I have enough stability to offer you? This is possibly an Aries, Libra, Taurus. They have love. But it's like they're almost hiding it. I almost feel like they need just a little push of encouragement. All right, we're going to leave these in and put those back in the deck. What does Gemini think of this person? Okay, well, I would say you would be interested. That's long term, but there is this feeling of being spied on. Things do look like they could go just fine. This person's just got to get a little bit out of their head. It does feel like they're intimidated by you, though. All right. Intimidation. Gemini? Seriously. No. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's the Empress again. Truth and clarity. Now this can be somebody coming in and telling you, I think the world of you. 
they gotta get the balls up first so you got the chariot reverse somebody that right now could have lost their focus and went the wrong fucking direction kind of like they got uh, some candy ass wheels on their little chariot there why are they hesitating because they wasted your time in the past this is somebody that does want to show you more emotion and that you could care about could have cared about in the past they know that they're going to have to come at you right very right but they still have emotions towards you this just seems like they went you know they got fucked in the head went the wrong damn direction and they're not sure that you're even going to feel like there's an opportunity here they could have dropped you in the past and now they want to pick things back up again what does gemini think of this shit the moon reversed i think you're already aware of it and you got the five cups. You owe me a motherfucking apology if you think you're coming in. So it's like this person's, they're potent, but you're kind of putting your foot down. You're kind of pissed at them. So you're being a little bit snubby. Good for you. It's like, did they waste your time? You got the moon here. It's like, you left me hanging. I have no clue what the fuck I was supposed to be thinking. You owe me an apology. But this is initiation. Okay, so if they come at you, they got lots of explaining to do. Like, where the hell you been? They could have taken off in a damn hurry, too. That is not a Snickers bar, let me tell you. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Caps. Six of Coins. Getting on the same page, feeling like this is something that could be harmonious. Taking their sweet time, but very reliable. This person wants to spend time with you. They are sexually attracted to you. It's spending time. It can be merging. This also can be a reconciliation with somebody that's going to show you that they can be more dependable and put a lot more work into it, make you not feel breadcrumbed. So that can be brand new or reconciliation. Take it how it resonates. This is moderation, and they could. you might make them wait. But this is a also a new connection. It can go either direction with the cards that we have in here. This seems to be somebody that's, you know, slowly trying to show you more progress and very interested in you. There can be an age difference where they are younger, but they are trying to show you a more reliable side so that you have more faith in them. Let's see what you think of them. You're going for it. You're like, you're a fool, but I still... I still dig you, but you do want them to show you a lot more stability. So it's like you're putting you're putting your foot down a little bit. You're willing to spend time with this person. You do see them in a very good light. Look at how they look at each other. That's beautiful energy. So it seems like they put more work into it, spending time enjoying each other. It looks nice. Heavy on the Aries. A lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your okay what do we got in here Pisces Pisces Cancer just nailing the harder ones here guys the majors Pisces again you guys have some pretty good energy whether it's a reconciliation or not there does seem to be somebody that feels like if they're not good enough they aren't gonna say anything but they're gonna feel the need to just kind of disappear so if you get ghosted, it's not what you actually think. Question most on Gemini's mind. Okay. Romance. I like that. One more. Trust. Mm. I'm thinking trust the universe, trust your intuition. All right, let's see what your Wookiees got for you. Wait for shit to settle down. Full moon and Libra find a balance. Libra. Okay, that's what we have for you, gems, and on we go. Okay, Cancers. Elemental quickies only today, and we want to know Kit Kat or Snickers. So, you guys have the overall energy of temperance at the bottom of the deck. Waiting. Patience. Healing. You also have the King of Pentacles reversed. Emotional sloth, somebody lazy. Are you waiting on somebody that's lazy? Nine of Cups. Is it something that would make you happy? So with the overall energy, I feel like you're doing a little bit of healing and trying to make yourself happy. Also could be being selfish and good for you if you are. All right, starting with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're dealing with a fire sign. 
Source, fire signs. Okay. This is somebody that's disappointed that you weren't interested in them. Two more. Aww. Kind of. Oh. Somebody not taking an apology. Okay, so this person wants you to take an apology, but you're going, like, really not happening at all all this person feels like the two of you aren't done and you sure the hell do you're like you emotional sloth they could have cheated on you and they want to start up and start over again they might tell you anything that you want to hear and you're damn well aware of it it's like you're full of shit so you're telling them to take their new beginning and to just go go it's like i'm having a new beginning you go have a new beginning all right putting those back in the deck randomly not trusting that person at all. A fool can, like, fall right off the cliff and you'd be okay with that. Out of sight, out of mind, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Zero. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. All right, so this person and you are not talking. One more for the Five of Coin person might feel left out. They also could have left you out. One more for that five. They're not offering shit. This is somebody that abandoned you. They're regretting it, but at the same time, they're not doing a damn thing. They're not doing anything. They're not coming your direction. They're not being... Uh, no. It's almost like you had to get your own truth and clarity. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? get a lot of fucking deception okay you still consider them to be the right one for you but at the same time you feel like it's not reciprocated that they don't feel the same way about you you feel like they owe you an apology but there's deceit a lot of deceit are you lying to yourself trying to make more out of this connection than there had been because this person's not doing nothing nothing mm -mm. missed opportunity you know, if they don't do anything, that's what it's going to become. Because this does feel like somebody that blocked you, doesn't want to talk to you. Kind of grudgy feeling, too. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Becoming more optimistic. Why have they been up in their head? All right, they took a break. So you've had a time out, no speaking with this person. They're becoming more optimistic. They do want to talk. They don't want this to be done. So while in their epiphany, they've had this thought that the two of you should try to work things out. You got the three of wands. There is a period of waiting here. They're going to come at you. Let's see how you view them. It's almost like your property. I hate to say it that way, but that's kind of how it looks. You are mine. Really? It's like the caveman shit. I don't think you quite frankly give a shit. You're hesitating. You're holding back. You're pulling away. It could have been a third party influence. You're isolating. You might feel like that person's got a roaming eye and that they breadcrumbed you. Piss on that. Okay. What is up with you guys today? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of woulda, shoulda, couldas in here. All right, heavy on that Taurus. This person can be a decent person, but also can be looking at you like they think a lot of you. This is somebody that is spiritual, cares about you as a person, is a, a good boy or girl likes you just as you are they're very committed six of wands coming in for your attention so they see you has got it all going on but do they want to stay single do they want to stay single i feel like they're going back and forth about this yes they are they want to hold on to you but they're still putting the whole idea of committing on the back burner it's like mm, they're holding back on the commitment how do you view this person How do you view this person? They, they're again, that's a third party. This person talks shit behind you. They're not as, uh, they act on the outside like they're good. They're not. Mm -mm. You know better. 
This is somebody that you're healing from. What the fuck? And then you got the lovers reversed. They're a cheater as well. Well then, the page of swords reversed can be a cheater. The three of swords can also represent that. This is competition. You're like, I'm dropping this shit. They know that you're single and going to stay that way from them. It doesn't matter how much attention they pay to you or what they say they're going to offer. I think they're full of shit. If this was somebody that came and said, I'm offering you, we're going to take it a step up to the next level. They're lying. They're fucking lying. Ah, Wookie element. The incoming energy source. Incoming energy. Somebody could be coming clean with you. you the two of pentacles. Did they take you for granted in the past? Because now they're saying they won't. Ah. Ace of Cups. I still feel like there's a lack of emotion here. This also can be like, it's hard to, you know, it's confusing to know what to do because the emotions are on the way here. You can't think clearly about this person because you, you're drained from this bullshit. How does this move forward? Uh, they're going to they're gonna come your way with a lot of bullshit and it's going to be crappy. And then they're going to regret having done so. I just feel like somebody's going to confront you and you're, it's hard for you to talk to this person because of how they made you feel. They took you for granted. So telling them ta-ta, they, they made you an option. No, 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 no. Bottom of the deck, you have death. So transformation, change. I feel like some of you just really need to let it go so that you can, you know, walk away emotionally so that you're ready to stop defending yourself. There's shit that you don't know. There's shit that you don't always want to know. Stick it up for yourself. Very defensive energy, but also knowing what's best for you. Putting up a clear line about what you're taking in life. Walking away from somebody emotionally so that you can do better for yourself. The ending is a new beginning, so you can have a Leo or a Scorpio come in your direction, but first, and things will get better, first you got to drop the person that hurts you the most. Eesh. Tough energy today, guys. Let's get a yes no for you. Source. Cancer. Question most on their mind. You have a yes. You also have take action. Mm. It doesn't mean keying cars or flattening tires. Just saying. Maybe TPing. Banana in the tailpipe. Something fun. Okay, let's see what the Wookiees got. You can't fix stupid. Yes. Last quarter moon in Cancer. Take a breather. Take a breather is right. All right. My gosh, Cancers. Let's hope that clears up. On we go. Okay, Leo's elemental quickies only today, and we want to know if you had to choose. Not that we're doing questions every day, but Kit Kat or Snickers. Now you have the overall energy of truth, clarity, and a breakthrough that's very optimistic. Seems like there's a, a celebration or party that you need to go to to meet somebody, or it's like you're wishing for stability. Okay, so let's see what we get. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, oh, it's a horse's ass that wants to be alone. Wow. This person's not wanting to try to work things out with you. They don't want nothing. They're a horse's ass. If you'd like me to hold the card up closer, I can. What else? I'd like you to hold our card up closer. You, <laughs> he would like me to hold the card up closer so you can see the horse's ass. That's the only thing I can see when I see that card now. This person's just done, okay? They're moving into a different direction. They, they don't want to even talk. How do you view this person? They irritate the shit out of you and wasted your time. Okay, well, I'm not sure why. They could be getting some karma. I'm thinking that's really the only reason why this person came up. But if you're dealing with a fire sign... Yeah, fire and fire don't always go very well together. This person's just done, out of here, determined to not deal with you. Not one bit. Screw that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Two of Cups. Mm. 
And you got temperance and... All right, somebody's got a crush on you and doesn't want to date. They want to spend time with you. They want to get frisky, frisky. So, you know, it's like a initiating new dating. Small messaging. So just, you know, starting to see each other, seeing work and go, seeing if, it, you know, the two of you kind of click. Can be a Sagittarius as well, but this person's got interested in having a piece of your ass and definitely wanting to stick around and see if it could go somewhere. So they have a little crushy. See what you think of them. What does Leo think of this person? Okay, well, you're holding your emotions back. One more. I don't know, you might just make that a pit stop because you got the four of coins. You're holding your emotions back. It seems like you're still thinking about somebody from the past. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. You might make them wait to open up. It's like, mmm. It also can be like, ah, you know, I remember a time when I dealt with somebody like you. So it's like, you might say ta-ta, but this is, the, you know, it's like waiting. You're going to make them wait for it. Good for you. I like that. So clear judgment on your part. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. The Knight of Coins. Slow and methodical, but extremely molasses in their asses. All right. Watching you from afar, but interested in dating. Well, if they have an interest, maybe they should get off their dead damn ass. There's a lot of passion to be had here. They do want to have this move forward, but I feel like they're a candy ass. They could they feel... Being intimidating. That's it. That's exactly it. Are you intimidating them? Do they feel like they don't have enough to offer you? This is somebody that's watching from afar. It's like, um, I've really got an offer for you, but they're taking their sweet ass time. Why do they got such cold... Why do they have such cold feet? They're intimidating. Been over this. Princess, yeah, you know they don't want they don't want to rush in. They're afraid that you're gonna just go uh uh bye bye. Well, what the hell? How do you view this person? Ooh, that Queen of Swords came out again. Okay, they bore you, and you're really not interested. Wow, guys, you're really giving it hardcore. You could think that they're a little bit smothering. It's like, I've really made my choice already. I, I just feel like you're you're thinking about somebody else with the Three of Cups here. This is somebody, it's just like, nope, sorry, not interested. I know what you'd like, but it ain't happening. So this can be somebody that's come at you before. It's like, let them watch. This can be, you know, moving away from this person emotionally, just going, ee -ee. yeah, I'm sick of your shit. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I am just cutting you out. You see the hand? Talk to the hand. I'm not dealing with your emotional smothering bullshit anymore. I am preferring to be alone. Ooh. You tell them. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The hanged man. Can be a Pisces as well. This person having deep thoughts about... Ooh. The boom. This is no bow chicka wow wow going on here. This person is deep in thought. They feel like you have just released them. There's a feeling of not trusting. Mm -mm. Ten of Wands. They feel like you just said enough of this shit. Oh, now we know why. Enough of this shit is right. They made you a fucking option. They went a different path. Yes, they did. How do you view this person? Cheater, cheater. You still have passion for them, but you think they're full of shit and they got busted. Now, mm, this can be basically saying, I'm not dealing with your shit player. This is somebody you're not talking to. Player! Player got busted. Ooh, what's the incoming energy source? You guys are giving it to people a bit rough. Incoming energy. I don't blame you, though, really. There's that three of cups. Some of you are getting out and having some fun. I really feel like you're putting up very clear boundaries. You're being selfish. Good for you. I like it. I don't think you're letting on to anybody what you are planning or thinking in your head. Mm -mm. There can be somebody that wants to try to get on the same page with you and make things work, but right now you're just, you're very set in your ways. I feel like you're just kind of spending some time hanging out with friends, being selfish. It's like if I feel like I'm in the mood to have that one tonight, I will, and if not, I won't. You're not sharing your emotions with anybody. You're using your intuition and you're maintaining your stability. So it's like, don't, 
Don't fuck with my boundaries. You guys are really serious. Can be a Capricorn that's coming in direction. Some of you might want a reconciliation. You might not see it coming. I mean, that can be as well. But there's still a feeling of uh, selfishness and toxicity, possibly. If that's not your energy of you just saying, it's my way or the highway, then you got somebody that's thinking about coming your way. Lusty, lusty. And would be new dating with that emperor there. Let's get an answer for you guys. Hey, hey. Leo's. Fire, fire. All right. Question most on their mind. You have a no. Whew. Perfect timing. I think you've already given people no's. And then in the near future. So something's coming, but you're telling everybody no right now. No, you're saying now is not the right time, but there is perfect timing. I feel like you're waiting. I feel like you're putting everybody on hold. All right, let's see what the Wookiee's got for you guys. You stirred the shit pot. What do you expect? Who stirred the shit pot to piss you guys off so bad? And new moon and Aries. Go, go for, for it. it. All right, Leo, that's what we have for you, and on we go. Okay, Virgos, before we start, Elemental Quickies only today. I get to be lazy once a week, well, twice a week when we take the Wookiee day off. But Snickers or Kit Kat? And no, I'm not going to do a question for the rest of the days that we are here together. No, I'm going to tell you right away. The deck that I chose for you, the bottom of the deck, you got Justice. So I'm feeling some of you are waiting for karma before you're ready to move on. Okay? Really do. It's all about timing here. As soon as you... It's like, but it's... I get this feeling like it's not enough. It's like you get your karma, you hear somebody got theirs, and it doesn't... It's like... Yeah, so there, but it doesn't really do you much fucking justice. But you need to move on because there, there is somebody that does have a crush on you and wants to start talking to you. Can be a friend, um, but I'm really feeling strongly that just dudes, there can be somebody that's got a very strong character, can be a Libra coming your direction. But it's time to move. Time to move, get your balance, get your groove. New year, get your fucking asses rolling, okay? So elemental quickie, starting with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, Ten of Swords reversed. This person's not over you. Or they don't feel like they have any closure. That's kind of what I'm feeling like for you guys. Some of you guys. I mean, obviously it can't be everybody. Not getting closure. Oh, and they're watching you. Well, no wonder you can't get any fucking closure. Somebody that you obviously had an ending with, and you're trying to do some healing. This person might be making it hard for you to actually continue moving on. You know, I mean, you got the five, there's been some major drama here and it does seem like every once in a while they come in and just poke you with a stick, but they are watching you intimidated. They're not done. They're not done, but they're acting like they're done. I'm feeling more like this is you going, I am done. I am out of here. And yet you're holding your ass back. Boss up, be single, fucking own that shit and have more hope for the future. Oh, let's be nosy. What was the blockage here? They could have put you in a third party. Um, they could have been out drinking and being a schmuck and flirting around. Doesn't mean that they had to have been screwing around. But there's a feeling of unbalance. We basically, you know, take it and flip it this way. There wasn't a balance between the two of you. It's just like the there could have been more passion than there was um, actually getting along. It can be heavy on the Scorpio here and Sagittarius. But this just feels like it's in limbo right now. I really do feel like they uh, kind of... You know, their energy or they're talking about you to friends and you're hearing through the grapevine that they're talking about you. And it's like, can you just quit? Just leave it alone. It's a long road. You want, how long do you want to, how long do we have to carry this person's corpse in your mind? Huh? How long? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, Seven of Cups reversed. This person's feeling like they have thought this out well and they've evaluated their choices. I am no longer confused. That's nice. It's fucking special. Two more stars. Not enough coffee. Not enough coffee. Okay, this is somebody that took you for granted, though. Uh-huh. They're going to come in and say, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Okay, there's Nancy Man, but this was like, you You made me wait too long. You deserve so much better. Do you see that there's two here? This person could have uh, 
mm -hmm, pissed you off because they were dicking around with their ex. Just saying, you know, Snazi man keeps you hanging while they decide which kingdom they want to run. Ah. Will this person reach out for those that want to reconcile? Will they reach out? Oh, oh. Not unless we need to carry their corpse. If they do reach out, make sure you give them a good hug so we know how big the hole to bury the body. This is just like it's time to move on. There's better things to anticipate. Waiting for your ships to come in. I'm just getting this feeling that a lot of you guys need to be working on your healing. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now we're talking. Ah. All right, you got the two of rods here. Some fascination, sexual attraction. Bringing it together. Bringing it together. This person wants to see where things can go with you. Let's see. What do we got? Ooh, and balance, and I'm fair, and I might buy you, like, roses and fun stuff, and I kind of like you. This person's looking for a future. They want to start small, but they do want to have a connection that's balanced and fair, where they feel like they have a say in things and treat you like the royalty that you are. Somebody that's very passionate about you, very much looking forward to getting to know you, feeling like there's an abundance and a connection that could be with you. Heavy on the Libra and Taurus. That looks nice. So new. Not so new. No, not so new. Kit Kat Snickers. That's the way I view it. Okay. Taurus. Okay. Virgo and Capricorn. We got the world, so new beginnings. She's pregnant with the new beginnings. See that little belly on her? It's the time, it's the cycle, it's ready to rock and roll. This is somebody that wants to take things very slow. It might be a little bit too slow for you, but there's a feeling of stability. Now you got the four of rods here. That's the soulmate card. This is somebody that wants to open up communication with the eight of rods here. There can actually be a distance, especially with the world here. So they might live in a different place. They might live in a different state. Just be careful how, how distance you get, you know, keep it close enough that you can rely on them. But there's that friend feeling again, meeting somebody through a friend can be online dating, but it's getting to know somebody. They actually pay attention to when you're talking. He's paying attention. What the hell is he? This one here? Not so much paying attention. He's He's a, look at the horse. This horse looks confused. Like, what the fuck you doing, dude? <laughs> hey, look, do you see what I see? You see the look on that fucking horse's eyes? Oh, my God. This is saying this could go somewhere. A new beginning with somebody that is reliable, takes things slow. They're stubborn, but when they make an offer, they do mean business. They are reliable. They can be a little bit of a workaholic. But it's got the stability to it where you're. it's very grounded. You can meet this person at a party. It can be a wedding reception. It is a wedding card. You could say that this could work into something very long term. It does look like they boss it up with a little bit of romance with the cut of the deck. You got the Knight of Cups. So it looks nice. Ooh, even better yet. Oh, look at what's peaking, the hair font. So accepting you as you are, I mean, I'm not going to pound too much sunshine up your ass and tell you that you're going to marry this person, but there is the possibility. See the horse's ass? That's what you leave behind you, okay? This is forward movement, moving into something new, very determined. That's what you guys are needing. All right, let's see if you're interested. Is Virgo interested? Are you interested? Oh, I think so. That's initiation. And then there we got some nice old passion. Heavy on the Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. So ooh, with the world here also can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I like to toss them all in there and let you guys know even though we're, ooh, and look at optimism, hope, and faith and all that kind of good stuff. Dreaming about you doing the naughty while they're alone. You guys have some very nice energy moving into away from somebody that was a burden. You could have been carrying them as far as emotionally making excuses for somebody that was an asshole. Don't don't make excuses for assholes. No, 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 no. Make them kiss it right in the middle where it gives. This is having a lot of passion, moving into it's taking a chance, not knowing exactly where things are gonna go, but having the courage to do so. Faith and optimism, 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 moving forward. It's the happiest damn card in the deck. 
with the marriage card, I guess, you know, it is, it can be, but it's taking things slow. This is a healthy takeoff. I like it. Okay, so we have all signs heavier on the Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Libra, Taurus. I'm just going over the majors for you guys. Where's Snotsy Man go? Snotsy Man is a Pisces, wherever the hell you went. Scorpio. And this one, you know, nobody, when they end up in a breakup, is ever completely over the other one. It, I don't I don't care what people say. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It doesn't ha it takes years to completely get over somebody and it usually you have to go through all of those god dang stages of grieving and denial and bitter and this and that. It takes a really strong person to be able to say, "No, I forgive them. I move on." And it don't know. It's bullshit. It takes time to heal and healing means you got to hate them a little bit. You got to imagine them with a toe tag on. You just do. Or a taser to the, you know, mm, mm, body part. Yes, no, maybe so for Virgo. I'm feisty today. Hmm? Yes, no, maybe so, Virgos. What do you need to hear? Question most on your mind. Choose a new direction. Ooh, an improving situation. See, it's at the bottom. In the near future. So there is a change and swap of energy. You guys got to push it a little bit. All right. Let's see what we get with that chuck it, fuck it deck. Do it one step at a fucking time. Yep, yep. Do it one fucking step at a time. My bad. And then clear your mind. Free your mind. And the rest will follow. All right, guys. That's what I have for you today. On we go. Okay, Libras. Your Wookiee is in the shower washing his 1,000 parts. So... Libra. I know, I'm not the same. I will embellished elemental quickies today because I get to be rotten and spoiled and I've got a lot of crap to do today. Oh, yeah. So, here's what we're doing. First, I want to know, Snickers or Kit Kat? We're having a debate here. Now, if you guys, for those that, because it's showing here that basically you got booted as an option, but I do want you to know that this person... <laughs> that left you for another one is being treated like a peasant. This is somebody that they're stuck. They're stuck in a different connection and they feel stuck. This is somebody that the could have um, ghosted you, just bailed, thought that they were, you know, having this wonderful fresh start. And I'm telling you, karma is getting their ass. <laughs> and even better yet, moving forward, it does seem like you are finally turning your back to this shit, moving on, having your wish fulfillment, getting something new. Oh, yes. Wheel of Fortune. Things going better for you. And that's that karma, okay? Somebody's already watching you, and uh, there's a lot of optimism. So let's see what we get with your elemental quickies. But do know that somebody's getting their ass kicked by karma. Now, this also can be that there's a really strong bond coming your direction, or just generally speaking, a Gemini. But let's see what we get. I, I do really feel strongly some karma for somebody, especially with that five of, who's the five of pentacles? Being out, being abandoned, being left out, not knowing what the hell happened. You know, it's just like the rug gets pulled out from underneath of your feet. All right, source, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have bones. Two more. Two more. Ooh, page. So you got somebody kind of spying on you. They're, they're, they act like a... They can be a player, but let's just see here. This is somebody that's watching you from afar. I feel like they are a little bit intimidated by you. Five, sorry, four of swords. They're not talking. So did you have an out with somebody? <laughs> this is looking like somebody that uh, feels that you just don't want to have anything to do with them. I'm feeling that they were codependent and that you had enough of their shit. This is basically saying that they put you in a position where you felt jealous. What was the blockage here, sword? What was the blockage? King of Cups Reverse. This is a moody motherfucker that's never happy with anything in life. Hard to please. Emotionally manipulating. They thought they were that the grass was greener on the other side, possibly. This is really quick action. And then stopped. Now they're kind of regretting. Yeah, they're in a little timeout chair. 
this is did not to go so well for them. Uh-uh. This is somebody that thought it would be better to be single so that they could have more fun. Oh, they're very single. I don't think they're having as much fun as they thought they would. This is like shit. Yep. Here we go. It's going to be a long time before I'd ever be able to convince Libra to come my way again or even listen to me. This is somebody that knows that they hurt you as well, you know? But this is this feeling of this person's never satisfied. So you'd probably, you know, if somebody bailed on you, time to move on. You got the world here at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. They dug themselves a hole. Hey, look, Karma. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. By the way, I would say Snickers. I'm a Snickers. Either one, really. But. And if the Wookiee comes for Valentine's Day, there will be blue balls on Valentine's Day if he brings me candy because I, my butt don't need it. Okay, this person is holding back their own happiness. This is somebody that's holding back. They're not lying about their happiness. They're holding back on being happy. This is somebody that feels like they don't know what the hell you're thinking. You might not even be aware of this person because they're not talking. Why is this person not talking? Seven of Swords is trying to, they could also be trying to get the balls up to come your way and talk to you, but they are not sure how you are feeling. They do want to be happy. Do we know this person reversed? Yes. No, you don't. Okay. Because this person's inflate their balls. It's going to take some time. They're still thinking, 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 thinking. Why are they so intimidated? Why so intimidated? Okay, you know, I feel like they just recently had their own shit show. Okay, you got the Seven of Wands, very much sticking up for themselves. So I think that they're just not quite ready yet. But they are thinking about coming your direction. This is somebody that does want to get to know you, but they're holding back. You know, and it's not... They could have ran away from a different situation. Just saying. You know, this is somebody that does want to be happy. The overall energy of, of the sun and the hangman, though, they're, they're holding themselves back. They need this big epiphany where they finally figure out that if they actually got off their dead ass and did something about their hurt feelings, and it does feel like they're hurt, Pisces, Leo, that they would be happier. So that's like an incoming single person, but it isn't happening yet. I feel like that person's not over their ex. It takes time to get over an ex. Sometimes years, whatever you want to admit it or not. And most of us think that we need another person in our life to make us happy and complete us, and it is not true. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I miss you. Ooh, they might miss you enough to actually come and apologize. Ooh. All right. This is a lot of clarity. This is somebody that is going to initiate contact with you. Small. Lame. Very lame. It starts very lame. Hi. How you doing? Really? That's it? Okay. But this is somebody that had left because they felt the Eight of Cups right underneath of that. They felt like they were rejected. They felt like they weren't good enough. So starting with the five, it's like, I miss you. I regret leaving. I still have emotions for you. Can we start again? I still find you very attractive. They might be seeing you getting attention from other people and really regretting it. But with that, you've got two aces in here. Wanting the home life back. See the little family in the hand there. You know, wanting to have that back. Wanting to be holding hands with you. This is a lot of clarity and a breakthrough. This is a lot of very clear, honest communication. And starting up, trying to refill that cup there with a lot of optimism and hope. There's still faith with this person. So that's going to be an attempt at a reconciliation. It's going to depend on how you feel. All right, Jay. On we go. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. I'm stuck. I'm bended. That's that person that's stuck in that karmic connection that they put themselves in. Mm. So um, 
they're telling the same story over and over and over in their head. I feel like they're trying to legitimize why they left you or why they moved on to a different connection because they thought it was going to be so prosperous. Didn't turn out that way. Give it some time. That person is leaving that one. Tell us more. Tell us more about that person's feelings for Libra. Regret. There's, they feel like you're getting attention from other people and they still have feelings for you. So that also can be a reconciliation. It's a matter of time. Seven of Pentacles. It would have to go really slow. Here's slowly planting the seeds to see if they can sprout again. It's like, can this go somewhere? How are you going to feel? Magician. You might be the one that reaches out towards them. But they're the one that left. They're, they're the ones that lack stability. Now, this can be, I'm only going to give them a little bit here. This can be somebody, they're still thinking about you, that feels like they're not good enough. There's that feeling of rejection right here. So it does feel like you might reach out, like, and don't shake your fucking head at me and tell me no, because this is what I want. I just want to know how you're doing. I want to know what you're up to. I want to know how your, you know, new beginning went. You might hear through another person, but this is somebody that deep down you feel like is a decent person. You could have uh, tried to fix this person, and I'm saying it just like that, but this is somebody that still has feelings for you. They need to up their dosage. They constantly don't feel like they're good enough. They constantly feel like that peasant. They are being treated like a peasant, but they're they're putting themselves in that role themselves, okay? So we have Aquarius heavily. Leo, Pisces. He's got some rough energy lately. I don't know. What the hell? New Year's, remember? It's supposed to be awesome. And this one here. Yeah, right, right. Knight of Wands needs to put on cement shoes so they stick around long enough to see if they're actually comfortable. They are so restless. Let's get a yes, no for you guys. Yes, no for Libra. Libra. What do they need to hear? Recovery. Yeah, I agree. And then success. That's that world feeling. Moving on. Situation will improve. Okay, and then we're getting one from the sassy fuck a deck. Put on higher boots. The bullshit's getting deeper. Uh oh And open up to change. Okay, Libras, that's what we have for you. Thank you, and on we go. All right, Scorpios, I know you guys think it's lame, but elemental quickies that are embellished today. So first we want to know Kit Kat or Snickers. Kit Kat or Snickers, let us know. All right, how many of you would be happy to know that somebody's getting karma? How many? Come on, be, be honest here. This is looking like a possible reconciliation. You got somebody that's coming your way with an apology for the drama that they've caused. They know that you are pissed off. They did get some karma. They are rethinking this big time. Here's your apology. Yeah. This is somebody that wants to, I mean, they can't undo what they did. They know that. They know they got to make up for the lost time. But it seems like they're willing to go the, the the long way into this and actually put the work into it. Right now, I feel like they're just sitting back. They're getting their ass kicked by karma. Good, good, good. Coming in with makeup sex. But that also can be, there's that ten of swords. They have a lot of work, but it does look like they're bossing up. Okay, some of you are going to take this and some of you it ain't going to work out. It depends on how you react when they come back. If you cannot let go of the past and the shit that they did after this apology, it is not going to work. It will not work if you cannot stop where things are and them too. You know, they have to make up for what had happened. But Libra possible coming in here. This is somebody changing their mind and it can be because they think you're getting attention from other people. Just saying. And they know that you are going to be guarding your heart. So let's see what we get. There is also new energy in there for those that are single looking for something to mingle with. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two more. All right. Initiation. This person is dropping <laughs> their defenses so that they can come in and talk to you. One more for the lovers. 
mid Gemini. The magician makes a move. So they're making the moves on you. This can be somebody that six of swords. That's makeup. That's makeup. This is somebody that wants to try to put the past behind you. Reach a higher. They accept you as you are. They want to be accepted as they are as well. They're going to boss up. King of Cups. It's going to take a while though. And I mean for them to actually make it up to you. But they do look like they're going to put the work into it. This is somebody that it's time. It's time with the Seven of Swords here for them to come clean and let you know how they actually feel, why they left in the first place. I feel like it might not be exactly what you expected to hear, okay? Very powerful initiation. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Kind of came out sideways. Should I stay or should I go? Uh-oh. I mean, the Cancer. There's a five of wands. This is somebody that wants the drama to end. They're kind of like candy assing about coming in, though. I got to tell you. Who's the wimp? Tell us more about the wimp. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, hefty. Oh, they're going to be not so. All right. So they finally make up their mind. This is a lot of communication coming in really quick. This is somebody that's going to be extremely bold and really be standing their ground. This is someone that's, you know, they don't want any more drama. They don't want any more drama. It's like if the arguments start up, they might get kind of quiet. But they do want to talk about moving towards a better outcome. So with the, can the cancer, it can be cancer, but the chariot being kind of half cocked here, that's wanting to be determined, but this person doesn't necessarily, they feel a little inept is what I'm thinking. There have been some drama here, but that's saying we can work past this burden. Let's leave the bullshit behind. Let's stop the head games and crap and, you know, be adults and talk this out. So that's going to depend on how you feel. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Judgment. That can also be a second opportunity. Strength. Three of Wands. It also can be brand new. So take it how it resonates. We'll see how you feel. Okay. They're coming in with a little crushy here. Got a little fish in a cup. Well, he's got a big fish, actually. But this is somebody that's anticipating the future with you. They feel like that the um, emotional bonds could really grow. This is somebody that is mature, takes the bull by the horns and says, let's see where this can go. Now, they can be at a distance, but this is somebody that wants to move things forward. Forward. I'm looking forward to getting in you in the bed. I'm looking forward to moving in. I'm looking forward to movement, generally speaking. This is somebody that almost feels like they can just see it. It's like, I can see it. I can feel it. Really having a feeling of, you know... Getting the courage up to come in and say, hey, I really think the two of us would make a good couple. Mm, I'm nosy. How do you view this person? Well, you have sexual interest in them. You got the king of wands that came out. One more, please. Source. One more. So you might think that they are a little bit too dreamy steamy you definitely are sexually interested but you want to see if the two of you have enough in common just to get this off the ground a lot of passion but this is somebody that's going to make you feel like their courting abilities will not only take you to the bedroom but take you further than that this is staying and this is netflix and chill this is getting to know each other so, very nice energy. It feels like newer dating. It really does. can be a Sagittarius, but this person bosses up quite well. But, you know, initially you're like, well, I don't think you're a player. This is somebody that is mature enough to stick around, but they can be a little bit on the bossy, pushy side, but very romantic and wanting to stick around. So, they feel like there's a future here. Looks nice. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Caps. Ooh, we have the sun heavy on the Leo. Optimism. A lot of new dating here, guys. Look at that. Initiating dating. You got justice. Feeling like you could be the right one. 
are weighing the options. They want things that are balanced and fair. This is somebody that is generous. Nice. How do they make you feel? Cut of the deck, Queen of Wands. So you would be interested in this. Yes. But it does feel like after a period of healing for you, you're getting attention. This is okay. You know, remember initially we said there was somebody else that, you know, is going to be seeing you getting attention. Here's the attention. Can be a Leo, Aries, or a Libra. But this is beautiful new dating energy with somebody that wants to keep things very on even keel. Spending time with you can be actual travels, but they want to see where things can go. Taking a chance. They think that you would make them happy. They want to pound sunshine up your bummy okay looks kind of nice there guys a little better all right let's get a yes no for scorpio source question most on their mind look for a sign and be assertive oh, i like that then you have a yes that also came out all right and then we're doing the lookies job because he decided to take a shower and wash his cells and parts and all that kind of good stuff so let's see what he has lined up for you release your blocks and are you crazy are you fucking crazy say no well i'm not sure who that's going to resonate towards but there is new energy and there is old energy there so a little bit of both all right scorpios that's what we have for you today thank you so much and on we go all right saggies first of all kit kat or Snickers. Let us know in comments. We're having a debate here. Embellish some elements of quickies. So look at this. You got the fool. Somebody wants to get back together. Yep. So this is a reconciliation with temperance here. Can be a Sagittarius, can be an Aries. But this person's restless. They want to be back with you. They're a little bit uh, feeling slighted, and they're in, uh, they want this to happen quick. This can happen very unexpectedly, but they're fighting for their belief that the two of you can work things out. Now, with the cut of the deck, you have the sun. Optimism and hope. Initiation. That also can be new dating. Some of you might not take this. It's like having a little bit of foresight here, but you might make that person wait and actually prove to, you know, prove to you that they're willing to put the work into it. So it depends on what they did, but it does look like a return. So if you're looking for a reconciliation, it does look decent. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Empress in Strength. Ooh, that's somebody that has a lot of willpower they have a lot of respect for you this is somebody that wants things to go somewhere now this can be brand new it sure the hell looks like it but the feelings could grow so use your intuition this is holding back a little bit but or they i mean this is very powerful this looks like new energy coming your way this is wanting to initiate it's it's moving into an emotional bond that seems like it could go very deeply respect it's abundance it's passion a lot of passion here as well very curious to get to know you expect to hear from this person using your intuition but they really look up to you i mean that's a lot of happy happy joy joy that could go very well so thinking about coming your direction to see if you're interested in dating but they look at you with a pro one at you but they look at you like you are just you know the holy grail nice all right gemini libra aquarius Okay, so you have the queen of coin here. This person sees you as very responsible, mature. And hello, lover. They want a new chapter. Now that can be a reconciliation. You still got the sun here at the bottom of the deck peeking out. They want to show you that they mean business, though. They're taking it very hey let's talk about this this can be either way old upright yep it's an x and it's a six of wands it's like i want to pay attention to you i want you to acknowledge me there's been some competition or arguments and bullshit and drama here but they still consider you to be the right one for them so they want to give it another shot they're coming at you very slowly but they do it's like they might be doing anything to get your attention how do you view this person? 
Well, I'll tell you, that looks pretty damn nice. You got the eight of discs here. It's like this is something that you want to work on. Dedicated. Or that at least you felt like you have been dedicated in the past. You're not the one that's confused. You, you still feel like there's a deep bond here. You also could have been treated like an option. But I'm feeling more that it's get over here and talk about this already. Get the lead out of your ass. Come over here and talk to me about this. But this is a power couple here. So, I mean, it does look like some nice stability. You get the four of discs. This person needs to come your direction. I'm feeling more of this is that soulmate bond and you're the one going, I'm not confused and I'm ready to put work into it. But this is a period of waiting. It's looking towards the future, having the foresight. This person does feel like the two of you belong together and they're willing to start up again. So it depends on how the conversation goes. That's the world. So it can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, but this person means business. They're very determined, so they need to come in and have that chat. There's judgment. Possible apologies, second chances. Looks nice for reconciliation. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Justice. It can be a Libra. Taking accountability. Strong character. Prince of Cups. Okay, so this is messaging you, wanting to know. It's kind of like, hey, how you doing? I want things to move forward with you. Very much wanting things to move forward with you. This can be brand new. Somebody that has very strong character, takes accountability for their actions, wanting balance and fairness. They're very honest. They come in with a cute little, hey, how you doing? Very optimistic kind of crush, but they do see a future with you. And they want, I mean, they're hoping that the passion between the two of you is mutual. Because with the two of wands, it's saying, I'm planning on asking you out. I'm planning on moving this forward. I'm planning on, I'm planning, I'm planning on. And they're hoping that you work with them on this. So this does look like something with the three of coins here. That they want things to progress and they're willing to put work into it. Looks nice. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. So you got temperance and you have the ten of cups. This is somebody that wants family. This can be somebody that you meet at a gathering. Two more. That can be a reconciliation as well. Temperance is spending time together. It's seeing how you merge. It's getting the balance back in a connection. And then we got the two of coins. Why the two of coins? nine of wands there's something between the two of you that one of you it's, i feel like you tossed in the towel this person doesn't want you to do so the, I, i'm feeling you're a little more wishy-washy why what was the blockage what did they do that was so abrasive Impulsive, abrasive, sometimes shitty with their verbiage. Something about this person that pisses you off. You th oh. Yeah, I don't know. You might tell them to go float their boat elsewhere. Some of you could have been manifesting this, but this is looking like somebody that feels like you rejected them and you're basically going, you fucking left, jackass. You, you know, you left me behind like baggage. You thought you wanted to be single. You you know, you were in such a hurry to have things your way. So you're really going to have to think about it. This is something that you thought was lost. Okay, so you're going back and forth. You're going, really? Honestly, you're coming in now? A lot of clarity. But a lot of willpower. So it depends on how you feel. This can go either direction. This person wants you back. But you're saying, you left me so that you could be single. How did that go for you? Okay. You went a different path, and they're basically saying, no, I left because I felt like you didn't want me around. So not agreeing on the terms of why they actually left. Outcome. Let's see what we can get. They're going to boss up. So th this person is very determined to 
get their throne back and prove to you that they can be reliable. So it's, it is going to depend on whether you say yes or no. I mean, there's two choices. You could feel very torn when it comes to this connection, but there's a lot of determination. This person's damned, damned ready to prove to you that they're going to show you a better opportunity. Very, very determined. All right, so we have Cancer. Sagittarius, where were you there? You got a little bit of new and a little bit of old in here. Libra. And a lot of Earth. So it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. I'm going to get a yes, no for you. And then something from the sassy deck because it wouldn't be me. Leo, if we didn't. And Libra, Taurus again. Okay. Source question most on Sagittarius's mind. Well, what do we have? Wait and no need to worry. And then because the Wookiee's busy getting ready for work, a kind motherfucker will help you out and assess the situation. I do think you guys are really going to have to think about an apology and see if you feel like it's very earnest or not okay well, that's what we have for you thanks for watching and on we go okay so you have the overall energy of the moon can be a pisces pisces aries that you're dealing with here but i feel like a lot of you are still kind of questioning what the fuck actually happened some of you could feel like you were brainwashed but there was hidden truths using your intuition about somebody that you deeply cared about Wondering what the hell they did, where they went. This is somebody that you feel like it was a waste of time. Could have left in a big fucking hurry. And there's still a lot of questioning what exactly happened. You know, a lot of mystery yet. Not feeling settled, unsure of the future. So let's see what we get. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source. Oh, and do you guys like Kit Kat or Snickers better? Let us know. All right, you and this person aren't talking. There's an emotional poverty here. Somebody's feeling abandoned, left out, could have been ghosted. Oof. I'm sorry, but this looks like somebody that just moved on to somebody else. You got the Queen of Cups not talking to you. This is having made a choice. Something that you, you know, turned your back on, said that's enough of this crap. Now, it also can be that this person wants to come back after having left you out, but I'm, I'm not, not right now. I feel like they're dealing with somebody else. Could be their baby mom, baby daddy, or an ex. But right now, it's just looking like they're possibly getting some karma, but it looks like they think things are going better for you. And they feel like you wouldn't take them back anyway. So, I'm feeling kind of karmic connection. What was the blockage? Confusion. This person, don't, don't, uh, if they come at you, be careful what you believe. It just feels like there's overindulging. Don't be fooled by this person. They're confused. They don't know exactly what they want. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got the hang on. Can be a Pisces. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Two more. I'm waiting, waiting too. Come on here. All right, here we go. They have interest in you. They do want things to be balanced. Why are they waiting? They're all up in their head. So this person could be just thinking that they're not good enough for you. Let's see what hit the floor. I think it was a king of coin. Yeah, this is somebody that wants you to take them seriously and make one hell of an offer. They want new dating. They want to jump in and take a chance, take things slow and methodically, but prove to you, prove to you that they are true blue. You might be kind of going, eh, you know, I don't know if I trust anybody right now, but it seems like this person is completely honest with you. They're not leaving anything out. They're slow, methodical, can be an Aries, but this person, very, very sexually interested. They'll wait, but they are feeling a little bit inept, kind of like, is Capricorn going to be interested or do they get it? You know, they might know what you've been through, but they are extremely interested. They think you're outgoing, fun to be around, and they do want to make and they do want to make an offer here. So it's like, give me a chance. Heavy on the Pisces there. Okay. 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ooh, the Empress. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. All right, so you got a Libra or a Taurus here. Wanting to get things off the ground with you. Feeling like there's a lot of abundance. One more. Ooh. Can we reconcile? Can we get back together? This is somebody that you have been with. They're willing to put more work into it. They feel like you're the right one. They're saying that they're going to put a lot more work into it. Give me a chance. Let's try to get things back together. But they might be willing to tell you anything that you want to hear to be able to get this second chance. It does look like they would behave themselves. What was the blockage? Actually put the work into it. All right, blockage. They're a bit of an attention home. They do have the intention of, I mean, really, what's the blockage? They could be a little bit big-headed. They might feel a little bit emotionally inept and have to act out to get attention because they don't ever feel like they're good enough. It's one of those deep internal bullshit things that you just kind of have to roll your eyes at. You're either going to accept this person as it is, this can be a soulmate, and take the, you know, reconciliation if you care about them because it does look like they have a lot of respect for you. So that could go well, but you do have to overlook people's flaws. Nobody's perfect. And then you have the Ace of Coins here. That's a very nice offer. With the Page of Coins, the Ace of Coins, starting slow, knowing that they have to be, you know, they want to be successful. Heavy on the Libra and Taurus here, but they mean, they mean well. They do. I feel like they just feel inept, not good enough. They could have felt belittled by somebody in their past, not saying it was you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, anticipation, moving forward. Can be a little bit of a wait here. They're willing to do so. Now, this can be meeting somebody at a gathering. Ten of coins can be groups of people. You got the king of cups. This is somebody that is emotionally available. Oh, my goodness, and really wants clarity. Wanting a breakthrough. Feels like new dating. You can meet this person at gatherings. So you have two cards of showing gatherings and groups of people, but this also can be somebody that wants the long term, wants the family, wants the whole bliss, and will work for it. Very romantic, very down to down to earth. Anticipating, might be anticipating that you're gonna make them wait a little bit, but they're willing to take that journey. I mean, it sure the hell looks nice. Honest, faithful, ooh, ooh. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Very nice. I don't know, guys. I mean, you got both new energy and old in here. Pisces, Taurus, Libra. And then you got somebody that needs the attention whole shit. And then you got somebody that's in a karmic connection. Moving on. But uh, things are going better for you than them. All right, let's get a yes, no. Yes, no, for Capricorn source. You're ready. It's like a promotion. If you believe. All right. And one from the fuck it deck. Karma will kick their ass, I already think it is. And then set, step up and lead. Very nice. All right, Cappies, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. On we go. Okay, Aquarius. First of all, Snickers or Kit Kat? Okay. No, I'm not doing questions every day. Just when we have debates around here. Somebody is really bossing up here, feeling like you are their soulmate. Holy man. Now, this can be somebody that wants to come back. They're willing to fight for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, wanting the contentment. If you're looking for a reconciliation, it sure the hell looks like somebody is really strong-arming it, meaning business. Wanting you back, feeling like you're the right one. Holy crap. Really regretting what they did. That's an apology. Oof. Can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, or an Aries. But this person really, that's really strong energy for a return. Just saying. Okay, so if you're looking for a reconciliation, it is there. Woo. All right, so let's see what we get. Elemental quickies only today. Yep, I'm being lazy. Once a week, I get to be lazy. Once a week, I'm taking a day off. Got to catch up on that freaking laundry. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's Tony's fault. Blame Tony. Tony, it's your fault. 
All right, this person wants to leave the past behind you, or they left, but it's moving on to clear er waters. Two more. Or not wanting to deal with drama. No, this person's a fucking... They're a player. This is somebody that's a player, and yeah, they're thinking about you, but this is somebody that takes off going in a different direction because they don't have enough balls to put the work into things. Not talking. Uh-uh. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? Seriously? Really? Come on now. Okay, you want them back and you think they owe you an apology? But that's also saying that you have love towards them or that you're hoping they get their shit together and actually show, show more affection towards you. Okie dokie. How does this... What's the outcome here? Outcome. Potential outcome. Well, that's a reconciliation. This is somebody that is going to boss up and treat you better. Okay, then. I'm going to put these two back in the deck randomly. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Queen of Cups. This is how this person is looking at you. Still love you. There's reconciliation energy again. I want to get back together. I'm going to unbreak your heart. They could have put you in a third party situation. You got two threes here. All right. What was the blockage? The fact that they left. Basically, we're flipping it this way. They made a bad fucking mistake. They left and made a bad fucking mistake. So they are really regretting what they did. A lot of regret. This person knows that they're going to have to really work on, you know, achieving your love back. They're willing to put the work into it. So are you going to forgive? Again, are you going to forgive? They're coming at you, but it's going to take a little time. They do want things to go better. I feel like they're getting a little dose of karma. Mm hmm For whatever the impulsive action that they had done. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, the chariot. Determination. Which way are we heading? Ooh, new dating. Very determined to have an opportunity with you. That is new dating. Can be an Aries or a Cancer. Wanting to jump in, take a chance, take you out. Could be like on the road, meet him on the road. Can be travels. You're going to think about it. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you have any other options but i feel like you meet this person in a group of people and it's something that you're going i you know i'm gonna there there is a feeling of passion towards this person but you want to take things slow so that does look nice for dating i mean obviously slow is meaning that it still has potential to grow it's nice hang man you're really putting a lot of thought into it it's like you're not just going to jump into anything you're not going to treat that person like an option, but you also could be saying, I want something long term, so, you know, don't play the fool too long. But it does look like a fun new beginning. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, ooh, hello, sunshine. Can also be a Leo. Initiating contact. Not over you. All right. This person wants to put more work into it. They are hoping for, oh, look, make up sex. I will be more balanced and fair and right. I have really learned my fucking lesson. I'm dropping the toxic shit from the past. I am no longer going to be a little asshole. There's that new opportunity again. There's been some drama here. This person is watching you like a hawk. They're very intimidated by you, but they are dropping whatever the hell it is, overindulgence of, okay, uh, selfishness, whatever the case is, they feel like they have learned their lesson. They took a time out. This is somebody that does want to, yeah, they want to screw your brains out, but they want a new passionate beginning. They're hoping that you can get on the same page and make things work out. Not over you. Can be a Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Aries, Pisces, Leo, Cancer, I think we already mentioned. All right, let's get an answer for you guys. Question most on Aquarius's mind. Source, yes, no. 
forgiveness. Well, yeah, and trust. Those are two things that you would need. But you also have success at the bottom of the deck. And let's see what you get here. Be real. Go have a bowel movement. The problem will solve itself. Don't forget to flush and wash your hands. Okay, that's what we have for you, Aquarius. Send on we go. Okay, Pisces. So first of all, Snickers or Kit Kat? Let us know in comments. No, we don't do questions every day. But just wondering. We're having a debate here. Okay, this is looking like somebody um, that you had abundance with, a connection that you had. This, you could have had children with this person. Uh, snuck around. Put a little problem in between here. Pissed you off royally. Candy asked away from you to go screw. Third party situation. Cut of the deck. This is looking like some of you want this person back and you're will willing to put the work into it. I feel like this person's going to be getting some karma for making you an option. So this feels like somebody fucked you over royally. Just saying. Candy ass away. No balls. All right. They got no balls right now. They know you are pissed off. And right now they're just regretting and remorse and feeling bad about what they did. So we'll see what we get here. But this, I mean, this is abundance. This is the mother of the deck. This is the reliable one. Has a lot of passion. Is very giving. This is the one that gets the attention. Mm -hmm. So that's too many people. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source. What do we have? There's that attempt of a reconciliation there. I'm coming back around. Why did you leave in the first place? Because they didn't think things were going anywhere. One more for the Seven of Pentacles reversed. What a jackass. You know, they feel like they're fucked in the head. This person, they're not over you. They're not over you. They were looking for new opportunities. Heaven forbid they fucking got bored. This is somebody that got confused and now they know what they want. Don't be fooled, okay? It might come as a shock that they're going to come in and say, Hey, how you doing? Acting like a little, you know, flirt. Oh, good luck to them. Yeah, good luck to them. They're going to want to come back home. I don't know, guys. That is saying that they're not going to treat you like an option anymore, that they have an apology here. But they thought that the grass was greener on the other side and found out it wasn't. They got some karma. What a pity. Having left in the first place, the only thing I'm going to give them and, and they're, because they could have felt like they weren't good enough and they didn't have enough to offer, but... It doesn't seem like they have much to offer either with a small page. It's not saying much. It's an apology. I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling like you led them to... F Did Pisces belittle them and make them feel like shit? No. No. That's good memories. Plus, it's upright and it's positive. And at the bottom of the deck, you showed them a lot of love. You used your head and your heart in that connection. So we flip that one off and we go on. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Clarity, honesty, truth, a breakthrough, a lot of will. This is somebody that you can meet at a gathering. That's the soulmate card. And then you have Sagittarius here with temperance. This is getting balanced. This is spending time with you. This is seeing where things can go. This can be brand new dating. Let's see if you're interested. Okay, so you're interested with a butt. A big butt. The butt is, I'm guarding my heart cautiously. I'm going to hold back a little bit. It's like I'm not completely buying the story that you're telling me here, that you want happiness and a family and all of this. It's a bit too quick. So it's like, don't schmooze me. So, you know, spending time getting to know each other. This is somebody that is going to show you balance in the very least. But wanting harmony, wanting harmony, balance, balance. There is, I mean, this does look like this person is legit, but you're holding back going, yeah, uh-huh, I want the same thing, but I'm guarding my heart until I know for sure. So, I mean, with the, the way they come in is a lot of determination based on truth and logic. So I think they make clear judgments and based on, you know, being honest. This person's not, they communicate truthfully. I, you know, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty damn nice, actually. 
There is passion here. It can be a Leo as well, but it does look like you will be interested in this person. They're going to acknowledge you and treat you well. And it might be a bit overwhelming because you might be like, I, what? I'm not used to this. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Single and stuck. Oh, thought they put themselves there. Okay, so this person decided they wanted to be a bachelor or bachelorette and move on. This is something that they felt bound to you at one time. Now they're all crying the blues and holding back. This is somebody that might attempt to tell you that they're going to put more work into a connection with you because boy, do they regret it. This is getting ready to come your direction and talk to you about it. Wanting to leave the baggage behind. They want to come back home. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know that you're going to see it coming or believe it. But they want to be happy again. So that's going to depend on how you really feel. Because this person's all up in their head. They could be feeling some shame. With the devil here, I would say so. So this person, what? They, they, they don't want to be single. Or I'm sorry, they want to be single. They don't want to be bound to somebody. They're too fucking toxic and selfish. Be careful with that. The world here, the wheel, world, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, they moved on and now they're really regretting it. Ugh. The devil is selfish, selfish. And the nine of pentacles, this can also be selfish. They felt like you tied them down, like you were the fucking ball and chain. Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Love. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. Tell us more about this Ace of Cups. All right. So somebody is watching you, very intimidated, kind of anxious. I feel like they're holding it in that they want to get together with you. Now that can go either way. One more for the Three of Cups. New, upright. Yeah, it's new. Okay, so using your intuition about this newer person, they might not feel like, they might not feel like you're interested. They do a lot of background check, a lot of background work before they open up. This is somebody that might wanna hold on to you, but they wanna be happy. They wanna be content. You wanna be happy and content? Is somebody that could have a checkered past and come in completely clean. I don't feel like it's being busted in this case. Can meet them at a party or a get together. One more moving forward. This definitely looks like there's a lot of passion in getting on the same page. You have three of pentacles. I would say that's a good indicator that this would go nice. A lot of passion can be a little bit younger than you, but you using your intuition, this can be that falling in love with this person and being very content, very content. I feel like this person's coming clean. This is somebody brand new, but I'm really feeling that you meet them at a party or gathering, work, whatever the case may be. I don't feel like this is busted in this case. It's got too many positive cards around it. Hold them back a little bit. They want you to know the truth about them. That's probably why they're a little bit intimidated. They're not sure that you're going to take an offer because you might have heard, you know, crap about their past. But they want, I mean, they meet you, they're interested, and, you know, they really are watching you from behind the scenes to see. They want to know if you, you know, if you feel like this could go somewhere. Hi, Priestess. They're unsure about how you feel. So it's like you're using your intuition, but this does look like it can move forward. It's just going to be a period of waiting. Waiting, taking your time. That's healthy, healthy energy. And everybody's got a past. Nobody's perfect. Not even the Wookiee. Okay, let's get an answer. Question most on your mind, cupcakes. Yes, no, maybe so. Source. Be assertive. Yeah, no Jack Holios. And it's up to you. Look for a sign, and then we're also doing the Wookiee's job because he went to work. So he has set up for you. Maybe it's because they're mean and stupid. And then make time for self-love. He would pick that one. All right, Cupcakes, thanks for watching today. Many blessings, and we will see you tomorrow.